what's up guys? Tobin here. Shanna. From the 5M Family Farm and Outdoors channel. Today we're going to show you all how we make ribs using the 3 2 one method. We try to make a big dinner on Sunday. Sometimes the last is through the week. Other times just because it's Sunday and it's the end of the week, beginning of the work week. And we just like to have yummy stuff on yeah. Sunday nights. Yep. So it's really good. I'll explain to y'all here in a minute what the 3 2 one method is. So um, if y'all are wondering why it's so quiet in the house, it's because kids and the dogs are at Mimi's house. But they're on their way home, so, yep, so we only have a few minutes. They'll be here any minute, so the quietness will end soon. All right, guys, let's get started. What the 3 2 one method is, uh, I, I didn't come up with this method, but I've uh, been using it for a while, and it works great on ribs. It's the best. I've cooked them every possible way and there's no better way than this method uh, so you cook them directly in the smoker no, not covered uncovered for three hours then you wrap them in full completely covered for two hours and then you unwrap them and cook them for one hour uncovered again guys so here is are the ribs i bought i use baby back ribs that's the only way to go the other St. Louis style and the other ones are, in my opinion, are not that good. So this is all I use for my my ribs: uh, mustard, uh, Santa. What is that called? Fiesta. Uh, Fiesta brand pork rub, and then that is cinnamon and sugar, like you'd put on cinnamon toast. Almost looks like they took it off already. No, there it is. <laughs> if you leave this on there, it'll make it chewy. That one's coming off. So the mustard is just a binder to hold the seasonings on. You, you cannot taste it. Yeah, you won't taste it once it's done. Always over season because some of the seasoning comes off when your smoker. smokers are. That's the cinnamon. So that's what they look like. They're ready to go on the smoker. So I usually run my smoker, this is an electric smoker, it's kind of like cheating, I know. Uh, but I, I run it for the, the this 3 2 one method, I run it at about 225 to 250, it'll work fine. Um, so let's get this thing cranked up. See y'all in three hours. All right guys, well the Rowdy Bunch has returned. From Mimi's house, and it, there's a hill down here, down the around the corner from our house. They're wanting to go ride their bikes and their skateboards down that hill, so we're gonna go take them and do that. The uh, ribs have about 30 minutes left, and then we gotta pull them out and wrap them in full, and that'll be on the two-hour mark. Or then we'll go two hours with that. So we'll go ride skateboards and bikes, skateboards and bikes for a minute, and then we'll be back. exactly three hours we're gonna pull them out and wrap them in aluminum foil I'll 
All right. Two more hours. Enjoying the pretty sunshine too. All right, guys. So we are down to the last hour. So I'm gonna pull them out, take the aluminum full off, put them back in there. One hour, and they're gonna be done. <laughs> Those aren't falling apart. Sometimes they do. One more hour. Go. All right, guys. I got Easton behind the camera. He's come out here to help me. It's the moment of truth. We're taking the ribs off the grill. They've been on here for six, off the smoker. They've been on here for six hours. All right, so let's take a look at them and see what they look like. Woo, boy. Those look good. Look at them. Man. All right, let's take them off real quick. Right, you gotta be careful because it may fall apart. Oh, they're pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, the battery warning's going off. Is it? Yes. All right, that's okay. All right, guys, look at that chicken. Look at those ribs. Back up just a hair, buddy. There you go. Man, those look good. All right. All right, guys, that is the finished product. Man, they look good. I hope y'all like this video. Uh, these ribs are really easy to make. I hope y'all try them. If y'all do, comment below. Let us know what y'all think. Uh, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. Thank y'all very much for watching. What do you guys say, Thank Mom? Thank you. Y'all have a good Sunday evening. Yeah, it's a good little Sunday we had going yes. here. So, uh, Thank y'all very much. Uh, we look forward to hearing from y'all. We'll see y'all again.